Hey, in this screencast, we're going to learn how to work with CSS variables in JavaScript. Because as I've mentioned before, CSS variables live in the DOM, meaning that you can update them with JavaScript. That's super cool, not something you could do with, for example, SAS or less variables, as they are transpiled down to regular CSS. So let's head over to the index.js. And the first thing we need to do is to grab hold of the root, which is where we declared the variables. You can see here, and that now refers to the HTML, as that is the root of our document. So we'll do var root equals document dot query selector, then grab the root. Let's log that out. As you can see, that logs out the HTML element itself. To get the styles we've defined on root, we'll do var root styles, and then use the get computed style method, which we have access to, and which returns the properties and values for the element we pass in. And we'll pass in the root. And then to get one of the variables, let's, let's for example, grab the red one. We'll do root styles dot get property value and then simply pass in the name of the variable, which is red. Now console log out red. You'll see that we get the correct value. You can see this one here. So now that we know that we can fetch the variable, let's also change it. To do that, we'll refer to the root again, the root style set prop property. And then the first parameter is the name of the variable, which is dash dash red. And the second one is whatever we want to update it to. So let's just change it for the sake of this tutorial to green. Run the code and boom, as you can see, the entire page has been updated as we've simply changed this here. And it's inherited down to all the elements which is using it throughout this app. So this is super useful. Just imagine that you, for example, want your users to change the font size on the page, or maybe you actually want them to be able to pick themes or change colors at some in some sections. CSS variables make that really easy for you. Okay, what I want you to do now is to fetch this yellow color here, which we are using in the background for the items, fetch it out using JavaScript and change it to something else, for example, to orange. So go ahead and do that. And when you come back, I'll do it as well. Okay, hopefully you managed to do the task. It's really simple. All you have to do is in order to fetch this yellow color here is simply change the red to yellow instead. Let's also change the other references to yellow like that. And then let's set it to orange. And there we go. We've changed the yellow variable to orange, and that affects not only the background of the items themselves, as it uses the yellow variable, but also the text color inside of the button. And both of them are now orange. Okay, that was it. I'll see you in the next screencast.